Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing the first video for iOS 8 tweaks. And on top of that, all these are free, guys. So we're going to be doing the top five free iOS 8 city of tweaks. The first one I'm going to be sharing with you today is, is a pretty awesome little tweak. It's called Detailed Battery Usage. And it takes the battery usage much farther than the iOS 8 update did. So if we go to general and we go into usage and battery usage, you see we're going to get a graph up here at the top. Now mine isn't going to have much on it because my device has actually been plugged in up until just a few minutes ago. But as you can see here, it's already showing how much battery drainage we've had, which application has drained the most, which you see it's been Cydia, which that should be that way because I've been in here downloading tweaks and looking around and that kind of stuff. The next one is, is called Force Good Fit. Now, what this one does, guys, is if you have an application that hasn't been updated for iOS 8 yet, it may not look all that good on iOS 8. And really what this is is the iPhone 6 or the 6 Plus device. But see, I'm using an iPhone 5, so really it's not going to be that big an issue for me. But if you're running a tweak that hasn't been updated yet for the iPhone 6 Plus, then this will be a good way to use this get those applications until they're updated and all you have to do is choose force good fit from the settings and then go to enabled in application and then choose whichever application that you're having the issue with you know it's going to make it larger and look better using this so you know that's going to be left up to whichever application you need to turn this on for so you do it on a per app basis which is pretty cool and next is one called Force Reach. And this goes right along with reachability. If you are familiar with that new feature in iOS 8 on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, you could double tap the home button and uh, not maybe it not double tap, maybe single tap, and it would actually drop the desktop down to where you could reach it with one thumb. So that's what this is all about. Now, what makes force reach so nice, guys, is it forces reachability to be able to activate on any device, where before it was only available on the iPhone 6, 6 Plus. Now you can have it on any device you want using this force reach. So now when I triple press the home button, you see my screen drops down. And until I touch up here where the, at the top or swipe up on the desktop, well, that doesn't even do it yet. Yeah, swiping up makes it go back. So force reach, if you want to try reachability, there is a tweak called Reach All that works pretty much the same way. It is a free tweak versus the Reachability 7, I think, was like $1.99. Reach All works just as good from what I've seen. And you include this Reach All uh, force reach. And you can install this on the iPhone 4 or 4S and the iPad or whatever. Last week we're going to be looking at is called Pref Delete. This allows you to delete Cydia packages by long holding on them inside the Settings app. So before we go in there and do this, I want to also say that this tweak supports iOS 6 and above. And it says it may support lower versions of iOS, but they just haven't been tested. So if you find out it does work on iOS 5 or below, let us know in the comments section, please. And there's no options to configure. You simply just install this and use it rather than having to go through the big long process of uninstalling a tweak by going into Cydia, then going to installed and then going to modify and then you would go remove. This allows you to simply just open the settings app, go to your set uh, tweaks here, and whichever one you want to delete, just long hold on it, and you'll get a pop-up that says 
do you wish to uninstall and if you did you simply would just tap uninstall and then that would be all of it the device would actually restart and it would be removed once the device come back up hope you enjoy these free tweaks guys let us know what you think about the ios 8 jailbreak in the comments are you having problems and don't forget to follow us on twitter to stay up to date on everything that's going on with the ios jailbreak and the latest city of tweaks and as always guys keep coming back